All toys sold in America, regardless of where they are made, must conform to U.S. safety standards, the most comprehensive, effective, and widely emulated standards in the world. Many of the toys on your local store shelves come from factories like this one, where workers use advanced tools and careful engineering to produce safe toys that kids love to play with. Even though toys are tested during various stages of their design, some items are retested to make sure that there are no flaws that have occurred during the manufacturing process. As they roll off the conveyors, toys are often sampled and safety tested again by accredited laboratories according to our U.S. standards and regulations. In this short video, you'll see some of the types of testing that toys go through to ensure quality and safety, including testing for lead in paint, the drop test, small parts test, compression test, tension test, torque test, sharp points test, sharp edges test. There are several ways toy manufacturers work to ensure their products comply with laws restricting lead in paint. The first is by careful control of the paint supply. This often includes ongoing sampling of paint batches and analysis in accredited labs. During this process, batches of paint are carefully logged in and labeled to maintain purity of the supply before it is applied to toys. Inspectors scratch off the paint from a toy to test it for lead content. Each color is sampled and tested separately. In cases where there is little paint, inspectors use many toys to gather as much of the specimen as they need. Then they use machines and computers to determine the chemical makeup of the paint to ensure that there are no hazardous materials. Because toys can naturally take a tumble during play, the drop test is designed to test a toy's durability. Toys are dropped from a specified height in various orientations to make sure that they don't break, creating a potential hazard to the child. Safety inspectors use this specifically designed steel gauge to check if a toy is a small part. Only toys that fit entirely within the gauge are considered small parts. Small parts are not permitted in toys intended for children under three because of young children's tendency to mouth objects. For older children, toys with small parts must have a small parts warning label. During the compression test, inspectors use machines to apply a specific amount of force to a toy for a set period of time to simulate a child stepping on it or other compression of the toy. Children will pull at their toys, so to ensure that they will not fly apart at the seams, inspectors will apply a specific amount of force for a set period of time, testing all the different ways a child might tug at the toy. In addition to pulling, children may also twist and bend toys. The torque test ensures that toys can withstand specific amounts of pulling and twisting without coming apart. A measuring device is used to make sure that toys do not have points or protrusions that are too sharp for the age of the child for whom the toy is designed. A special kind of tape is used on this machine, which measures how strongly an item is pressing against it. A sharp edge would cut the tape. Toys rarely cut the tape, showing that they are safe for children and not too sharp. There are over 100 different tests for toy safety. We have shown you just a few. Through these tests and other ongoing safety measures, the toy industry works hard to bring safe and fun toys to children. Your child's safety is the toy industry's number one priority.